looking at a fundamental counting principle of probability. So I kind of mentioned this a little bit in the last video, not the marble video, but the one before that. It says, in order to find a basic probability, the number of outcomes in the sample space must be known. That's in general. Many times it's possible to just list them all out, depending on what you have. If there are too many to list, it's often more efficient to use a formula to find the number of outcomes in the sample space. This formula is known as the fundamental counting theorem. So here's our first example. You have three belts, a red, a white, and a blue. And you have two hats, a green and yellow. So first they want you to just use a tree diagram to determine how many different outfits you can wear using a belt and a hat. So the first thing I'm going to use are our belts. I don't know why I just wrote that in all caps. Belts. You have three possibilities. You have a red, you have a white, you have a blue. Okay. When you're looking at your hats, you have two possibilities. You have a green and a yellow. So from you can wear the red belt with a green hat or a yellow. You can wear the white belt with a green hat or a yellow. You can wear the blue hat belt with a green hat or a yellow. So those are all your possibilities. And again, I talked about this before. If you have three possible belts and you have two possible hats, you should have six total events in your sample space. And you do. Red belt, green hat, red belt, yellow hat, red belt, or white belt, green hat, whatever. Okay. So the first counting principle is, and this is what I kind of mentioned the other day, when you have events that are and events. So what is the probability of it being event A and event B? So all you have to do is figure out the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay. So um, which why they had me draw that sample space and then we didn't even use it is kind of disappointing. So suppose you have five different slacks and four shirts in your closet. How many different outfits can you wear using one pair of slacks and one shirt? Okay, well this is first of all just your general probability. Five slacks, four shirts. We could draw our tree diagram. We would have five different, you know, pant one, pant slack one, two, three, four, five, and each of those would have four branches on them. Or five possibles of slacks, four possibles of shirts equals 20 total different outfits. One slack, one shirt. Okay, kind of same thing here. Um, she has five different rings, four bracelets, ten necklaces to accessorize with. She wears one ring, one bracelet, and one necklace. How many different ways can she accessorize? So again, how many possible rings? You have five. How many possible bracelets? You have four. And how many necklaces? You have ten. When you multiply those, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 10 is 200 different possibilities. So you definitely wouldn't want to have to draw out a tree diagram for this, even though you could if you had enough paper and patience. So here's another one. Um, you have three belts, back to red, white, and blue, two hats. Draw a tree diagram. Uh, so we just did this, a belt or a hat. Okay, so you could do one or the other. So first of all, we kind of looked at, it would be the exact same thing as the other one, but you could also just wear one of the belts or just wear one of the hats. So I guess I'll draw it back out. So here's our belts. Here's our hats. So again, I could wear the red belt, the white belt, the blue belt. I could wear it, uh, or I could wear the yellow hat or the green hat. So basically, how many different possibilities are there? Well, there are these three, and there are these two, and then um, that's it. Uh, because we're just talking about or a hat. Not, it doesn't say anything about wearing both. Okay, so sorry, I kind of got a little lost on that. So how many different possibilities do I have? I have three for belts plus two for hats equals five different possibilities. Okay, and sorry, so it makes a little bit more sense down here. So or events, you just add the possibilities for each. Determine if you have five pants, again, four shirts, how many different outfits can you wear using one pair of slacks and one shirt? Now tell me how much this actually makes sense because you're not going to wear one pair of slack and one shirt. But you have five pants plus the four shirts is going to be nine total. Okay. Same thing here. You're only going to wear 
Uh, she never wears more than one. So you have five rings plus four bracelets and ten necklaces. Again, this is pretty simple. There's 19 total possibilities.